सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल एंड वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन एज वेल सो इन आवर लास्ट सेशन वी हैड स्टार्टेड विद एफ आई आर स्ट्रक्चर्स राइट एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टू सिंपल एग्जाम्पल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ टू काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स इन एफ आई आर आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इट दैट इज द फर्स्ट काइंड दैट इज डायरेक्ट फॉर्म एंड वन मोर काइंड इज कैसकेडेड फॉर्म दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द अपकमिंग सेशंस सो इन दिस direct form we have seen with the two basic simple examples in our last session okay which i have not solved but i have uh, told you manually okay but it's very easy you can understand it those who have not seen it please watch that uh, previous video okay so uh, if you want to get the clear explanation of that do watch that video it is available in our channel so in this session i'm going to solve a few of the kind of problems inside a direct form only okay so before that let us discuss about what is this linear phase in this direct form okay this linear phase is a condition of uh, in an equation there would be one particular condition and that condition is named as linear phase okay so what does this condition say is here the first and last term coefficients must be the same along with the middle coefficients okay so this is the condition for linear phase in direct form that is we would be giving you one equation of uh, h of z that is transfer function h of z they would be giving you from this we should be finding y of n first okay that is i have already told you how to do it i'm going again i'm going to tell you okay but the condition here is the first and the last term coefficients must be same along with the middle coefficients that is and also one more thing is the the degree of delay that is here it is z power 0 right 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 it should be of this form only okay that then only this condition is satisfied for linear phase that is first is it should be of the increasing order 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 the delays okay if it is not in this form you should be bringing it to this form by interchanging the terms and then you should be checking for this condition so in this case this is in linear phase because you see here the coefficient of z power 0 is 1 and also the coefficient of last term right the last term z power minus 3 is also 1 So first and last term coefficients are same along with the middle coefficient that is one and two. So since we have four terms here, last two and middle two should be same. Here it is one and one. So here also you can see one is one by four, and this coefficient is also one by four. So in this case, this uh, equation is is in the linear phase. But for linear phase, the direct form structure it varies. Okay, so that's why we have this condition called linear phase. again this is very simple direct form structure first thing is try to find the y of n that is i'm uh, in uh, in in this one simple problem i'm going to tell you from the next problem i'm going to directly write to y of n okay it's very easy first they have given h of z so what you should be doing you should be trying y of z by x of z right that is equal to the same term that is 1 plus z inverse by 4 plus z power minus 2 by 4 Plus z power minus three. Now multiply x of z with this term. That is y of z would be now x of z plus x of z z inverse by four plus. I'm just multiplying x of z with this whole equation. Okay. Plus z power minus three by four into x of z. Okay. Now what I am doing is y of z. I'm uh, taking its inverse z transform so that we would be getting y of n. We know that the x of z uh, what to say inverse z transform is x of n plus x of z into z in uh, z inverse by 4 so that is 1 by 4 and since we have z power minus 1 so x of n minus 1 similarly plus again 1 by 4 write the coefficient first then z power minus 2 so x of n minus 2 then we have so this is not 1 by 4 this is only z power minus 3 Since since this is z power minus three plus and the coefficient is one, so x of n minus three. So this is the equation we got. Now for this we should be writing the uh, direct form structure in linear phase condition. Okay, how to draw is so see here very easy. First thing is what we should be doing is count the number of delays in the equation. How many delays are there? You see that. So in this case this is not a delay. Okay, so these are the actual delays. That is z power minus one. Minus two and minus three. Three are there. So first, what what you do is draw three boxes here like this. One first uh, when uh, two set of boxes draw it like this. Then the third one draw it like this. Okay, like this you draw. Okay. Since there are three delays, so three boxes have drawn. Okay. How how it is? Uh, whenever we have two 
you should be drawing one below the other and one more if you have extra drawing between in the separate line separate lane okay similarly if we had four delays one two three four if we had five one two three four five like that okay this is like this then name all of them boxes as z power minus one minus one minus one since the it is in the increasing order minus one minus two minus three okay now what to do from the here draw the input x of n okay now it is passing through this delay so again in join all of them okay like this you join all of them so here in at this point now the delay would be x of n minus 1 right again it would be passing through this delay so at this point now the delay would be x of n minus 2 again it passing through this delay at this point the delay would be x of n minus 3 right and here like this you have drawn all the delays now next thing is very simple what to do is So here if you see observe carefully you have drawn this structure right so here the first and the last term coefficients are same and there are added up these two are added up right so x of n and x of n minus 3 coefficients are same and also they are added up so add them up like this by joining a summer like this and the direction should be towards this summer and from this summer come down and here what is the common coefficient for these two write that that is 1 right like this we have drawn similarly these two have been added up now now these two we should add up again the coefficients are same x of n minus 1 x of n minus 2 join or draw one summer here like this and from this summer draw the co what common coefficient write it that is 1 by 4 now we have done it but our next goal is to find the value of y of n these two we have added separately these two we have added separately now these two again whatever answer we get we should be adding it right so what I am doing is I am drawing one more summer here. I don't have sufficient space. Hope it is visible. One more summer here and I am joining these two. Okay. So now whatever the answer we have got here. Again we are adding it to get the final output. Y of n. Okay. So like this you should be drawing the direct form structure in case of linear phase condition. Okay. So these steps are not required when once they give the h of z directly write the y of n okay from the next problem i'm going to do the same so hope this structure is clear how to draw very easy structure so we are going to solve multiple problems you would be getting a, a, a clear idea about it okay let us solve the next problem now that is h of z is equal to 2 minus 7 z inverse plus 2 z to the power minus 2 again this this equation if you see the it is in the increasing order 0, minus 1, minus 2 and so on. And also we have two delays and here this is in the linear phase condition because the first and last term coefficients are the same. And the middle term since it's, since we have only one term so again we can consider it as a single term. Now find the y of n. y of n is equal to. So here we have 2. So again this procedure you should be doing. So here if you compare it here in place of 1 I have written x of n. So here if we have 2, write 2 times x of n. Okay. Then minus 7 times. So here it is z, z inverse. So directly write x of n minus 1. Okay. Then plus again 2. We have z to the power minus 2. So x of n minus 2. Okay. Like this you should be write, directly writing the y of n. Now for this y of n equation draw the direct form structure again i've told you it's in the linear phase condition count the number of delays in the question one two so since we have only two delays draw two boxes one below the other name it as z power minus one z power minus one okay so this is our input x of n okay and it passes through a delay and now we would be getting an input of x of n minus one here again it passes through this delay so here we would be getting an input of x of n minus 2 okay now the first and last term coefficients are same you should add them so put drop one summer here between these two x of n and x of n minus 2 and the common coefficient between them is 2 so from here drop a common coefficient 2 now this whatever we have added along with we should be add, adding this also so here it is minus 7 times x of n minus 1 that is from this x of n minus 1 only I am continuing this line here naming this coefficient here common that is minus 7 I am adding one summer here and here this I am joining it here so that 
the answer of these two along with these two would be getting added up and we would be getting our final output y of n okay so like this we should be drawing the direct form structure so these two structures have drawn for two the simple examples just to be thorough about the linear phase okay hope this is clear so please watch this video again if you are not, if it's not clear so let's solve two more problems and wind this session okay so these are the next set of questions that is realize the following in direct form so here we have two questions again they would be giving you the h of the transfer function like this they would be giving you the question first we should be checking whether the equation is in the linear phase or not if it's not in linear phase draw the direct form structure which i have which i have told you in the first session if it is in linear phase just now i have told you two examples like that you should be drawing first check for linear phase that is the first and last term coefficient should be same so here in this case it is same and the middle it is 1 and the number of delays here are 1 2 so first thing is first write the y of n equation okay that is 2 by 3 here we have z to the power 1 okay so that, that would be x of n plus 1 and here we have 1 so it is replaced by x of n and here we have 2 by 3 it is z power minus 1 so x of n minus 1 okay so this is the y of n equation count the number of delays 1 2 so there are two delays so draw two boxes one below the other okay so one you name it as z power plus 1 because one is z power plus 1 here so next is z to the power minus 1 okay so here from here draw the input here x of n it passes through this delay okay so now at this point the value is x of n plus 1 okay so now if you observe here carefully the first and uh, last term coefficient that is 1 is x of n plus 1 and here 1 is x of n minus 1 so what I am doing here is from here now uh, x of n this is an input right this input I am passing through this delay here because we have x of n minus 1 so from this x of n if I pass through this delay now at this point the value would be x of n minus 1 right so now from these two points take the common summer okay meet them up and here for this the common coefficient is 2 by 3 right so from this point bring one 2 by 3 coefficient here down and this would be getting added up with the coefficient of the input x of n that is from here draw continue the line and here the input of x of n coefficient is 1 and here draw one summer here and this also you meet them meet it here so that's why the whole equation would be getting added up and we would be getting our final output y of n here okay so like this you should be drawing the structure hope this is clear so this is the one simple problem let us solve one more problem so now this is a bit lengthy equation again this is the second equation the equation is h of z is equal to 1 plus 3 by 4 z inverse plus 17 by 8 z power minus 2 plus 3 by 4 z power minus 3 plus z power minus 4 again the same thing check for the linear phase condition that is first and last coefficient should be the same here in this case it is same 1 first thing it is in the increasing order z power minus 1 2 3 4 so no need to replace it or interchange so first e equation is same now the second and fourth that is again it is same 3 by 4 only and the middle is 17 by 8 okay so this is in the linear phase now count the number of delays 1 2 3 4 so there are four delays now so we should be drawing four boxes that is one one two boxes below the other and here also like this in the next uh, next lane two boxes one below the other name all of them as z power minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 since it is in the increasing order minus 1 2 3 4 okay so now from this is input draw the x of n continue this okay so here we have x of n so if it passes through this delay at this point we would be getting x of n minus 1 again it passes through this delay it passes through this delay so at this point we would be getting x of n minus 2 it passes through this delay at this point it is x of n minus 3 now again it passes through this delay at this point it is x of n minus 4 so like this the equation the bo box is set now first and last term coefficients we should be adding them up 
okay z x of n minus uh, before that i forgot to write the equation here y of n so here 1 is replaced by x of n then plus 3 by 4 since we have z inverse so x of n minus 1 plus 17 by 8 x of n minus 2 plus 3 by 4 x of n minus 3 plus x of n minus 4 so x of n and x of n minus 4 separately add them up because they are having same coefficient so drop one somewhere here between these two terms uh, terms x of n and x of n minus 4 and the common coefficient between them is 1 so from here drop 1 and here now the second and the fourth term that is x of n minus 1 and x of n minus 3 the common coefficient is 3 by 4 so add them up first n minus 1 n minus 3 and from here the common coefficient is 3 by 4 write it okay similarly this is now 17 by 8 so that is from this point only so this is 17 by 8 so now all three of them we should be adding them up right so that we would be getting y of n so first draw one summer here add these two first okay so whatever the answer we get here again draw this summer one here and whatever answer we get continue and join it to this summer so that our final output would be getting here it as y of n okay so this is the direct form structure so hope this is clear so we have solved uh, two problems related to direct form very easy problems so that's all guys uh, like share subscribe to our channel thank you we'll see you in the next session